So a lot of people ask what weather app I use. I'm gonna show you how I set the website up on my phone today and what I look for. If this is all you follow to pick your days to hunt, you will be hunting 98 or 9% of the best hunting days. What I do is I use Weather Underground, not the app. You have to go, go Google it and you'll find you know Weather Underground. So once you go to Weather Underground, you need to uh, put in your location. So uh, I'm just gonna click on, on this Henry, Illinois. Um, and it's gonna pull up the weather for Henry, Illinois. This is on Safari. I'm gonna go to 10 day. And now once I'm on 10 day, and I've got my area located, I'm gonna push this button down here. And it's gonna, it's gonna anchor it uh, to home screen. When I do that, it's gonna set it up like an app. So I'm gonna name this Henry Illinois. When I hit done, now it shows up on my phone as if it's an app, but it's really just a shortcut to the Safari. Okay, so when you click that icon, it's gonna pull it up and it's gonna land on 10 day in the place uh, that you had saved it. I'm gonna pull it up like this because you can see it a little bit better. The reason I use this, there's some apps out there that kind of show the same information, but the most important thing is this black pressure line. And on some of these apps, they've got it squeezed down so tight, so small, you can't really see the, the, the ebbs and flows of that pressure line. So what I look for is I call it the magic X days. You're looking for the X, which is the pressure line rising and the temperature dropping. It's where they kind of make an, an X. And you usually will see uh, the blue, which is rainfall. You'll see it coming down and the gray, which is cloud cloud cover. You'll see it coming down. So um, there's basically like an X and your eye gets used to being drawn to it. So instantly I can, I can say, okay, this is a high pressure front. I really, this one here, you can kind of see it, it falls, uh, the, the peak is at night, that little gray area is night. I love when it's, if you shifted it a hair over here and it basically first thing in the morning, clouds and rain started tapering off, pressure started rising, temperature started dropping, and the peak was right around, um, you know, prime, prime time in the evening. Those are my favorite days, but that being said, this is going to be the best day in this 10 day forecast to hunt. It's going to be Friday the 23rd, and then that next morning is going to be killer. So that's how easy it is to find the Magic X day and set up your app and a super simple strategy. Uh, you know, and these are your wind directions down here too, and you can kind of see those changes really easy um, and what direction they're going. Essentially, at its most basic concept, that black line is a deer movement line. When it goes down, you're going to see less deer. When it goes up, you're going to see more deer. Over here on the side, it shows your pressure. In October, like we are now, the magic number seems to be 30.1. When you cross that, that just seems like when the big boys get on their feet. And as the season goes on, you know, it gets cooler and the air gets denser, that magic number kind of goes up. But my eye is always immediately goes to the pressure line. I don't even worry about temperature. It's kind of secondary to that pressure. Because generally the pressure is gonna, gonna uh, the high pressure is gonna accompany colder air. Especially when deer are on patterns October and then late season, you know, November 28th on, it is all about the front. Big deer are not like, smarter than you know does they're just they're they have more specific environmental triggers to make them move in daylight during the deer season barometric pressure is almost always um, the thing that triggers that in my opinion